The win, our guys showed a bunch of toughness, grit, and resolve. Um, if you look back historically, uh, we haven't held serve at home, so to win this one at home, and then if you look back two years ago where we were at, we lost that game late. So for our guys to stick with it, fight through it, Kelly made a huge play. Uh, Jay Jones, in my life, may have aged seven years when he was running around there at the end of the game, was ready for him to go down. But uh, really good football team in Georgia Tech. We have a ton of respect. Their offensive line, Jeep Wade, their, their old line coach, a friend of mine, they do a really nice job. So we knew going into this game was going to be a challenge from defending the run. They've got great speed, um, and they've been in some tough ball games. So big win for us. A lot of recruits here today, so it was huge for that. Uh, we recruit in, uh, in that area of the country. So big win for us today. Really excited about how our guys played. Um, and they're not always going to be pretty, but it's the, the thing that you got to do, you got to win, find ways to win. And any good football team I've been part of, they're not all blowouts. There's some tough ones in there. And uh, the guys in that locker room did a great job fighting and sticking together. Um, and it was a team effort to win the game. So really excited. I'm going to enjoy it tonight. And we got to get ready to go play Syracuse because we got a really good football team. So with that, I'll open any questions you guys got. Sean, what did you notice about the second half defense? That Bending a little bit, but just never breaking. Yeah, you know, they made the change at quarterback and he threw it well. Just stylistically, they changed a little bit. Our guys did a good job adjusting. Obviously, Kelly's interception was big. Um, I thought the guys came out and played really well. He's a good football player. He, he, got, he stayed alive on some things with our rush. You know, obviously, we always lean on our front. That's our, one of our biggest strengths on our entire football team. I thought those guys played well. They passed pro well, so it was a challenge for us. And we kind of, you know, they really ran the football well. And in that second half, they went to throwing the football. And I thought our guys did a good job adjusting. I thought they showed some gritness and tough. We made a few adjustments schematically, changed up some things. Coach Marv had a great game plan. And I thought we did a good job. And obviously, the turnovers were huge in the fourth down stops. Um, you know, if they don't score, they can't win. We're up 21-6. So we just, uh, you know, just had to fight through some tough situations. But, man, I was really proud of the kids, the way they played. The linebacker play, it seemed like, Sam and Kelly got some more reps there in the second half, and it seemed like as fresh as they were, they were able to fly around and make some plays. Made some plays. Had really good weeks of practice. We talk all the time. Kelly had a really good week of practice. Uh, Sam had a really good week. Keontae, all those guys. How you practice is how you play, and we've been, we've been hammering that home for the last couple of years. Uh, I was joking with Kelly in the hallway. This is his second year. Two years ago, I got a pick against Georgia Tech, so I thought those guys both play, really played well, and we, we want to play a lot of guys. We want to Coach Marv, Coach Prize philosophy, uh, I call it a little WWE tag team wrestling. We want to play as many guys as we can um, because down the stretch, if you've noticed, even at corner and safety, we're rolling a lot of guys in trying to be fresher down the stretch the back end of the season. Sean, you guys held them to three yards per carry today. What was working with the run defense? But much better fits. Coach Pry alluded to it. And then our front did a really nice job. I thought the backers fit it much cleaner than we have. And you know, obviously, it's been something we haven't fit as well as we'd like to. And, and, you know, in coaching football 101, if you can stop people running the football, you got a chance to win a football game. And then it makes it a lot easier to rush the passer and play pass defense. So the fits were better up front. We moved the guys. They did a really nice job. And I thought our backers saw some things pretty clean, probably the best to this point. So that was really exciting because that's been something, an area of emphasis we've got to improve on. Um, and we got to continue to improve on. And then you guys were, uh, you held them to five for 19 on third down, one for five on fourth down. What made this defense, especially as the game progressed, able to get off the field? You know, just uh, the ability to stop the run and then became a pass-oriented deal. So it's a lot easier to play pass defense knowing they're going to be throwing the football every time. Um, but I thought the guys, we got them in some long yardage situations, got them behind the sticks. And then I just, our guys played tight coverage. They did some really nice stuff down the back end of the game and that allowed us to really not have many windows. You know, hit a couple things, but I thought overall our pass defense was really good and didn't give them big plays. You know, we talked all week about being stingy in the run game and then not giving them explosives. And for the most part, you know, Keontae had the, the sack he missed, and then he came back and made a really nice fourth down stop. Um, and then he had a swing, a, a momentum swing play with Kelly. And like I said, Jalen's pick there at the end was huge. So just collectively, guys just, hey, not panicking. And we made a few adjustments. And I thought the guys really played well as they, get, as they got into the game. And like I said, that, that's a good offense. They, uh, I didn't sleep much this week, a few gray hairs. I know I'm, I'm pretty ginger-like, but I had a few more added from, from all the stuff they do formationally. So they do a good job. David, how you doing, by the way, brother? Good, Good. to see you. How are you? Yeah. Good. Uh, uh, Coach Price said as the game went on, he felt like the defense gained confidence. Could you see that? What does that do when you guys are able to, to get them to you know, stop them on, on downs three straight possessions yeah. late? What does that do for confidence? Just, just the belief you could see it. They're bowing their chest. They're, they're, they're a little bit more upright. You know, they do a lot formationally, a lot of different – we call it eye candy. They present you a lot of different looks. 
And once our guys kind of got in the flow of the game and were able to adjust to some things they were doing and, uh, and kind of just stuck with their rules, you know, confidence breeds confidence. Kelly makes a play, then all of a sudden Monsoor's making a play, somebody else is making a play. So it's big. And, you know, we got a group that's a veteran group of guys. They've played a lot of football and they believe in each other. There's a strong unity and brotherhood in here, and those guys believe in each other. And as the game went along, you could kind of sense, okay, this is going to be a game. We just need to play great defense and we're going to win this thing. And, and I felt like as the game went along, they never panicked. The adjustments on the sideline, like I said, the kids were great. And uh, it was a fun win. Defensively, it was, it's fun to get those. And uh, we got to continue to improve and build on it. You mentioned that this wasn't really a beauty pageant out there. I mean, is there a value to, to winning games like that where you've won some games before where you run for 360 or something like yeah. that, but to win it on the other side the other way? Well, let me preface this answer by saying any win is good, so I'll take them anyway. But you have to have some of these in your journey to having a good football team. I've never been part of a championship team or a quality football team that didn't have a tough win. And they're not always going to be, like I said, blowouts. They're not always going to be – 7,000 yards and you, you know everything goes perfect. There's going to be challenges. And I thought we needed this game to show our improvement from two years ago. And you had some games where, hey, the lead, we talk about it all the time on defense, fourth quarter, let's not let a crack, any crack develop in our defense and playing to the end of the game. And I thought those guys did that. And we needed to do that. It's, it was a proving point for us, um, something to build on, obviously. And uh, they played great defense here for a lot of years. And, they, and they've generally had that when they get in the fourth quarter, they, they don't let those things get away. So that was big for our guys. And as coaches, it's great, it was great to see our guys fight through any situation and find a way to win. Thanks, Appreciate you guys. Thanks. All right, we're going to have Kelly Lawson here at the podium.